what's up um today we're gonna be drawing a little comic strip or we're gonna start it at least i might have to do a second video tomorrow um kind of i don't know if this is loud or not i'm sorry if it is um tomorrow i might do a second video continuing this but tonight i'm gonna start it um just gonna do a comic strip um, and yeah, I am having a lot of fun making these videos. I think I talk about that in every video, but I am. I'm having a lot of fun, so I'm going to continue to do it. Um, it's currently 11 p.m. We're going to get into the drawing mood. I got my drawing glove. We're going into it. Um, today I decided to write down a list of things to discuss, things to talk about, and I'm going to treat this somewhat as a podcast, in a way. I typically sit down and just write, or no, I sit down and I just speak. And whatever comes out, comes out. But I do find that sometimes I need to write down some topics that I know I want to talk about. So today, I did that, and we're going to see if that works. Um... I'm going to go ahead and start my screen recording. Actually, I have to delete my last screen recording because I don't need to take up my storage like that. Um, today, the... I think that the... comic strip that I'm going to do is going to be Asteroid and Auto together. If you know who they are, you know who they are, and if you don't, you don't, but you will find out right right now. Astrid and Otto, I had this idea when I was up in LA. I just got back from LA today. Um, and I was talking about snails while I was there, and I was like, oh my gosh, I just, have an, I just had an idea for a comic strip, because I want to start getting into making my comic strips for real. I've only made two comic strips. I don't even know. <coughs> Not nearly as many as I would like to. So, we're going to make a comic strip of Asteroid seeing a snail for the first time. Uh, for context, Asteroid is an alien. He's got a moon head. We know the gist. He's obviously not from Earth. So, he comes down to Earth. And this is going to be his first time seeing a snail. I love snails. I think snails are the coolest bug. Hold on. My screen recording is 3, 2, 1, start, plus. Um, let's do main square small. Okay. That's just so that when I go back and edit, I can add this footage to my screen recording. I'm always scared that I'm not recording even though I've never had any issues. Oh no, what is going on? Dude, hello. I'm not color dropping right now. What? What? Um, so yeah, he's going to see a snail for the first time. Um, we have a few different routes of where this can go. I can either do asteroid... Is about to step on a snail and Otto's like whoa watch out for the snail and Astrid's like huh she's like isn't it, it's just a bug and then Otto so okay basically it can either be Otto really likes snails or Astrid really likes snails I think that it makes a little more sense for Asteroid to like snails rather than Otto so I think what I'm gonna do well, but then it wouldn't make sense, because if Otto were to step on the snail... Guys, <laughs> I don't know why I think about these things so deeply. It doesn't have to be that deep. It's a stupid comic strip. But I think so intensely into these things. Here I am sitting. The logistics of this would actually not make sense, because a a Asteroid is from blah 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 blah. Dude, none of it's even real to begin with. 
why i don't know why i do this <coughs> it, it makes me so ripping my hair out I can't speak. Putting that little breakdown aside, it still doesn't make sense for me because in order for Otto, my robot, to almost be stepping on a snail and Astrid to be like, yo, watch out, don't step on the snail, <coughs> Astrid would have to know what a snail is already. So, Either he already knows, or if it's going to be his first time seeing a snail, someone's going to have to maybe, like, tell him what it is. Or, no, I guess it could just be, it just rained, and every time it rains, the snails come out, so maybe Asteroid's out in the rain, he walks out into the rain, sees a snail, and picks it up. <coughs> And takes it inside and makes a little hut for it. Point blank period. That could be it. Yeah? We'll just go with that for now. Um, there's my sketching color. I've been really liking the dry ink brush lately. I do go through different brush phases of which brushes I like, and at the moment I really like this dry brush one. I've always liked it. It's always been a consistent favorite of mine, but right now for some reason I'm really into it. Um, but yeah, let's do, let's start with... Okay, I also don't know, do I want to do panels, like a traditional comic strip, or do I want to do one of the swipe ones, where it's like, I just do like a little doodle of him out in the rain, <laughs> and then, you know, you swipe to the ne you swipe to the next page, and it's going to be, it's going to be him with the little snail, and you know, you swipe to the next one. I really like the comic strips, but I feel like those don't translate that well on social media. But I think I'm giving up on the idea of making things that are going to be good content for social media. Uh, that's the whole point of this channel, to get my mind out of that mindset. And if I get views, I get views. If people like it, they like it. So be it. <coughs> Let's do a comic strip. I'm going to stick to my roots, stick to what I want to do. I really hope this audio isn't blown out. I think it is a little bit blown out, so I'm going to turn down the gain just a little bit. Anyways, I'm going to start with like five panels. I also don't like to make my panels um, even in the slightest. I love panels that are just hand-drawn and I never not okay not never but most of the time I kind of just will come up with a brainstorm in my head like I do just now sit down think of it then we do a quick little thumbnail sketches and then and then if that works it works if not I'll go back and rewrite the panels I'll rearrange panels um, make the panels according to whatever size I think it needs to be. So basically, we have five frames set up right now. So, we're gonna storyboard <coughs> the panels. So, the first panel will be... Okay, so let's set the tone. Let's set the, set the voobs. The voob? The vibe. Dude. <laughs> Let's set the voobs, guys. Voob check. I should not be saying something that I don't know what it means. That could mean something that I don't know. If 
it is, I'm sorry. I'm not cutting it out. I, d I didn't know. I messed up my word. Pattern. Speaking. What do I want to do? Okay. Setting the tone. It just rained. Asteroid. It's still sprinkling. Just a little bit. But the rain is like going away. Clouds are starting to dissipate. Sun's there, not peeking through yet. But it just rained. Everything is freshly wet, not flooded. It's not too wet, but it's like fresh rain. He's gonna walk out of his motel room. He lives in a motel, by the way. He's gonna walk out of his motel room. And. Just be like. Oh, what a, a nice rain we just had. I don't know. <coughs> so let's do. I'm just gonna write down the words so I just have just to plan it out. So let's do just rained. Walks out. Outside. To smell the rain. Also, my writing is not usually this bad. Don't don't say anything about it. Right here, panel two, let's do like a close up of Um let's say this is gonna be asteroid sees the snail. Asteroid notices the snail by his foot. This is where Asteroid is going to be bent down, reaching for the snail. Then this one, I might split it into two panels and then do him holding the snail. And then in this one, he'll be talking and saying, like, let's get you a home, or let me make, let's make you a home, or something. And it's going to be where he takes him inside to his, in his room, and they make him, the snail, a little thing out of, like, a cardboard box. Let's make you a home. And then this will be cardboard box for snail in the windowsill. I think that's how you spell windowsill. I'm not sure. So this is what I do. Write it down. Now we can go... Oops, I forgot to make a separate layer. It's okay. We'll just trace it. Let's... I'm gonna make the panels. So, this video, I think I'm just gonna sketch it. And then in the next video tomorrow... Hopefully tomorrow, maybe the day after or something. I will... Ink, and then do the final colors. I don't like how that looked. I personally do a few passes of sketches. I'll do very rough sketches. Then I'll do some more fine sketches. And then sometimes I will do even a third round of sketches. It kind of just depends on how technical I want to be. Because if I want it to be really good, I'll do a few rounds of sketches. If I want it to be just quick, um, kind of sketchy feeling, and less um, technical, then I will just do 
a few, maybe like one sketch and then ink. <coughs> so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and do those sketches like we talked about. And then you're just going to watch along. And I'm going to talk about the things that I want to talk about now. So first up on my list, I got my notes app open right here. Number one. Actually, this is number one. I love these San Pellegrino lemon sodas so much. So much. That I just needed to tell you. That's all about that. I just made dinner. Okay, like an hour ago. I had dinner. And what I had for dinner was Trader Joe's um veggie fried rice vegetable fried rice I think that's what it's called in the bag frozen and some chicken pot stickers I love Trader Joe's veggie fried rice I love it however however the one thing two things actually but we're gonna focus on one of them that I can not stand for the life of me these are a spawn of Satan himself stripped straight out of the depths of hell the worst possible thing on this planet, the most disgusting thing, they're ugly, the color isn't nice, do you know what I'm getting at, do you know what I'm about to say, some of you are either going to fully agree with me or fully disagree, and I am talking about peas, I cannot stand peas. They ruin everything, every dish, ever. Chicken pot pie would be delicious without peas. There's also a lemon basil pasta salad from Trader Joe's that is scrumptious, but it is loaded with peas. And I'm, <coughs> I'm the type of person who will sit there and pick out the peas. I have no problem doing it. I'll do it. The only issue is with that lemon basil pasta salad thing, they have so many peas in there and because it's packaged food, the peas have been sitting in the slop for so long that even when you take the peas out, the flavor lingers. And I know peas are so small. They're so tiny doesn't mean a single thing it ruins everything and if you're a pea watching this count your days or count your own days if you know what I'm getting at I'm trying not to say what I want to say count your own days and the days left should be zero get out of here oh my god I can't stand peas. <clears throat> They're just, for such tiny, tiny little vegetables, for like the world's smallest food, they pack a punch. And it's disgusting. It's so rank. It is vile. It is putrid. I can not stand the peas. So, in my uh, veggie fried rice, I pick out the peas, I also pick out the edamame soybeans, because I am low-key allergic to soy, so I don't eat those. Those do taste okay, eh, they're alright, I don't really, I don't hate them, but I don't like them, but I'm also kind of allergic to them, so I, that's also why I don't like them, but they're just not, I don't, I don't, I'm, what's it called, I'm impartial? To them I don't have a that much of a preference 
but peas I am going to hate on peas till the day that I die with my full chest I will do it I don't care there and there's nothing you can say to fix this issue I will always hate peas my mom always says she's like you're gonna like that when you get older no I will not because you know what I've gone 22 years of my life not liking them what's gonna change I'm not gonna like them <coughs> they're horrible Ooh, oh my gosh no I could talk about it I could talk about it for way too long I could talk about it for so long it's I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Um, I think this this one I'm gonna do like the door frame. Here's like the sidewalk. He's gonna this is gonna be like the door frame to Asteroid's room. Maybe like some little weeds po po poking 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 up in the corner. And then Asteroid's gonna be standing right here. Um, I actually don't like anything that I'm doing right now. If this is your first time watching me draw, um, I draw a lot better than this. I'm just kind of thumbnail sketching right now. And this is going to have to be a lot bigger for it to make sense, um, perspective-wise. So let's blow this up a bit. The other side of the door, right here. Um. Anyways, peas, horrible, 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 horrible things. Just disgusting. Absolutely vile. And I, I will die on that hill. Immediately, and for eternity. I will die on that hill. No problem. Look at his little snail. Oh, My little asteroid. He's got so much to learn. On this earth. Next thing I'm going to talk about is the solar eclipse. Um, today was the solar eclipse. And I live in California. So we didn't really get much coverage of it. But that's what happens every time that we get a solar eclipse. And listen, if you're in Texas, if you're in wherever it happened, like the path of totality, I don't want to hear it from you. I don't want to hear it. I understand that you got to see it and it was cool. Do I have FOMO? Yeah. I don't need to hear it from you. I'm not talking to you. I know you got to see it and I know it looks cool. I didn't get to see it. And I am so tired of these eclipses doing the bare minimum. What do you mean? What do you mean you're the sun and the moon, but only this small sliver of the state of the country gets to see it? Shouldn't you be able to let the entire world see it? Why are you being selective? You're bigger than us. Well, the moon isn't, but the sun, you're bigger than us. You're bigger than this. You know? I'm just over it. Every time I get my hopes up, I, I expect, I also, everybody's making a big deal about this one for some reason. They were all like, the SWAT team is in the path of totality, and there's going to be radioactive consequences, and like the internet can go down. I saw a TikTok last night. That was talking about how it was like how to protect your dog from the solar eclipse. Now, please take this with a grain of salt. I don't know if you actually needed to give your dog protection for the solar eclipse. This is just me off of no perception of medical advice for dogs. With that, that with that out of the way, what what what? kind of protection what do you mean the dog needs to be protected just don't make sure your dog doesn't look at the sun keep your dog in the house for a minute even 
let it out, though. The dog's gonna be fine. I think dogs know not to look at the sun. Also, the dog has no clue what's going on. But I was swiping through it, and it was like, if you use um, a thunder jacket, like for dogs that are scared of thunder or fireworks, they were like, consider putting that on. Um, <coughs> watch out for these symptoms. And the symptoms were like seizures and like epilepsy things and vomiting and diarrhea and I was like damn I don't think this is gonna happen to your dog from the eclipse and again I could be very wrong but like what am I wrong I just thought it was crazy I was like damn I don't think this is gonna happen to your dog guys I don't know. I'm just, I don't get, I don't get, I don't know. The eclipse is, it's always kind of boring to me, which is very interesting. Or it's ironic because of how much I love space. I'm going to have to flip this. Flip snail to look this way. It's ironic because I love space. And I, okay, I'm not hating on the solar eclipse. I just think for the sun and the moon pulling as big of a shenanigan as they're going to pull, they could do a little more, you know. Um, I should be able to see it if I'm in the same country. Um, it just doesn't seem fair. I don't know what to tell you. I don't, I don't know. Um, how would someone, okay, if I was going to pick up a snail... How would my hand be? I would, okay. I'm pretending I'm him, putting myself in his shoes. He doesn't wear shoes, though. Usually. I would put my hand down, and I'd be like, hey, get in my, get in my hand. <laughs> I'm going to tell the snail, hey, here's my hand, get on it. No, I would, I would put my hand down for this. Okay, I'm just trying to picture, I'm trying to visualize my hand. I do this all the time. And if you're an artist, you know exactly what I mean, what I'm referring to, like using yourself as a reference instead of pulling up a reference. So I'm just going to sketch fingers. Here's the rest of the hand. The thumb's going to kind of go like like here or so. And then it's going to go back up there, and the rest of the hand's going to come back up here. Yada yada yada. Let's put this hand. Ugh. Guys, I can't draw hands. One thing I will never claim to be able to know how to draw is a hand. Because I can't do it. Astrid's also got pointy hands. Oh my god, that looks horrible. I'm so sorry if you're watching this. This looks disgusting. And then the door frame is going to be like right there. Whoa. Hello. That little piece of grass. And maybe there's going to be some texture on the walls. Hmm. Not like that, though. It's going to put a few marks to texture it. I feel like if I put text of him being like, come on, little guy, get into my hand, that looks, that's dumb, right? That's stupid. That's stupid to do. Okay, another hand drawing. Okay, if I had a snail, I'm going to pretend this little crystal is a snail. If I had a snail in my hand, I would hold it like this. So I'm going to draw my hand. Astrid only has three fingers apart from his thumb because, oh wait, this is so off center, hold on, 
because stop motion puppets typically not always but typically only have um three fingers just because when it comes to animating it's a lot easier to animate three fingers versus four I mean it's just less fingers to work with so he's only gonna have he only has three fingers everywhere though I'm not just not just stop motion but also most cartoon characters if you pay attention to your cartoon characters that you watch um, you'll notice that a lot of them only have three fingers because it's kind of the same thing it's harder to animate four fingers than it is to animate three fingers so a lot of people just um, do three fingers which is so smart and I'm ooh, I don't want to give him fingernails actually he's not gonna have fingernails he's an alien okay I don't want to draw the snail from like a top-down view but I think I've given myself no choice now with this angle I also <laughs> I should look up a reference image Oh, I can just look it up on my phone, actually. I was delayed because my cord that's charging my um, iPad is what I use to plug my keyboard into my computer, and so I can't look at that. <laughs> Bruh, it auto-corked it to the snail mucin serum that everybody uses on TikTok. And look up snail in hand. Oh, that one's not a bad I need I need someone like okay, here we go. I guess you can still kinda tell what a s what a snail is from this angle. Oh, I love snails. They're so cool. They're so cool. And they're so sweet and kind. Like, I feel like snails have every right to be jerks. You know how, like, bees. Okay, no, bees are nice for the most part. Wasps, jerks. Certain spiders, jerks. Mosquitoes, devil spawn snails nice guy they're just a fine fun fine little fella just trying to get through their day they don't bother anybody I don't know a single person who's bothered by a snail and if you're bothered by a snail you are the issue not the snail the snails not doing anything we gotta do some self-reflection. Why are you? Why are you so? Why are you so pressed over a snail? What is? Unless okay, unless you've had like some type of traumatic experience from a snail. But I don't know how that could happen. But if you have, I'm not trying to downplay it. But I'm just saying. So this next photo is gonna be. I want to add. Bro, oh my god. Let's make it a little smaller. Um, I want it to be... I need a photo of someone holding something like this. Like this is Astrid's head with the snail in his hands like this. And he's going to be like, let's get you a house. So I got to have hands. What would I look up? Person holding person holding hands up to face holding something holding an item let's see what we get oh so like I need this but as a side profile I 
think I'm just gonna have to wing it. I'm just gonna do. Ooh, he looks scary. I need him to be looking down. Like that, and then he can say, She say, Let's get you a home, or let's make you a home. Yeah, let's just do let's make you a home. so quiet out of nowhere guys I'm sorry I think my my battery's dead a little bit okay I'm gonna draw this last panel oh wait I have to do this one too maybe um what else do I have to talk about headphones um I love using headphones I like my earbuds too I actually really like my earbuds. I love my earbuds, actually. Um, however, there's something about headphones that rub me the wrong way. It's mainly with how they look. We need to make headphones smaller because these are the headphones that I use. They are my brothers that I stole from him. Prepare yourselves for what you're about to see. I love the idea of wearing headphones. I think people look cool wearing headphones. This might just be a me thing. But. I feel like I put these on and I look stupid. Like I look like Princess Leia. It's just like. So much there. I feel like we need to slim it down, make this, like, not as big. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't like them. I like them, but I don't like how they look on me. I can only wear headphones if I'm alone. Okay, not only. But I prefer to wear headphones by myself. Like, if I'm here in my room, not filming... Or, an, or I'm not out with friends or doing something. I'll wear my headphones because I can just kind of wear them without being perceived wearing the headphones. Um, they just look so ugly. But I've never looked at somebody... I think this might be just one of those things like how most of the times... You don't ever look at someone and think, oh my gosh, they blah, blah, blah. It's always just, you will notice these things about yourself. And I think headphones are kind of the same thing. These are curtains right here. 
So I'm going to put curtains on the side of these windows. Um, I've never been like, dang, those headphones look big on that person's head. Or, dang, they're going to find smaller headphones? Those look crazy. I've never thought that, so I don't think people... Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm going to segue to something else. Did you just see how my head twitched? You can rewind it. I give you permission to look back and see if you notice it. But my head would just, I feel like sometimes I just go like that or like something like that. Is it noticeable? I hope it's not. I do that a lot. And it's just like a muscle spasm. I have no control over it. It just kind of happens. Um, I. Someone let me know, please. I hope that's not something that happens often. Um, here's the window. Here's the window pane. And then we'll do like one of these kind of cross windows. And here will be the thing. Outside is the window. And then if I were to make, I would put. the flap of the box like this and then this one can go like this um i do probably draw fairly weird because i have not taken art classes at all so i do kind of draw the scene out and then place the items in and then i'll go in and erase things like this it just makes more sense for me to just like see the surroundings and then put the items in I don't understand how people don't do that or no I understand it I just personally like to do this and yeah it does take more work but I don't mind I really don't okay so in my snail's house I'm gonna give it a little bowl for water and some food. I'll put the snail right here like this. There's this little head, this little swirly body, antennas. I'll put like a twig or something up here hanging down. And then, what else would a snail need? What else do snails need? Ooh, I'm going to cut out a little window for it so it can look out the window too. And then, since it's a cardboard box, it's going to be like this. And here's the flap of the box. And then the box probably will... Can you tell that's a box? Maybe, maybe not. and you know what it is and when you see the comic and done in done <laughs> when you see the comic complete you'll know what it is too um, I don't know that I want this scene there I don't think I need a scene here actually I'm gonna I'm gonna we're um erase it and we're just going to put the title of this comic strip right here and then it'll be like I don't know what would I call it asteroids new pet asteroids new friend asteroids I was going to say asteroids new pet for now. 
You can always change it. Asteroids. Asteroids first pet. Yeah. Asteroids first pet. Does that sound too, like, kiddish, though? Like... I don't know. I don't think it does. Maybe it does a little bit. Oh, well. And then this is comic strip. I believe... I think it's comic strip 2. I think I've actually only done one comic strip before. I don't think I've finished a second one. I've done sketches like this before. So I think I'm just going to put comic strip number two. Like that. Is that good? I don't know. Perhaps. Um, that's what we got for today. Tomorrow, we will ink. Maybe. Maybe the following day. Um, before I go, I'm going to start saying the songs that I'm listening to of the day. Um, current Obsession songs. Um, they probably are going to be the same for a few days because I tend to fixate on songs for a few days at a time. Currently, my fixation songs are worth it by ray but also just an emphasis on ray in general phenomenal she's a phenomenal performer her vo vo vocals crazy she's insane if you have not watched a ray live performance do it now. You will be blown away. Genuinely. Crazy. Second song. Good Luck Babe by Chapel Roan. Need I say more? Go listen to it. Those are my songs of the day. Um, but yeah. That's it for today. For tonight. Tomorrow or the next day, we will do inking on this. I will be posting something tomorrow. Can't say what it's going to be because I don't know yet. But I will be posting another video tomorrow of packing orders or something, maybe. Um, but yeah. That's all for now. I will see you tomorrow. Hopefully it's this might not be um i also might ink it and then we'll color it together that's probably what i'll do um because you already watched me draw it once you don't need to see me draw it again um but the color coloring it is fun it's a fun process so that's it for now um good night and i will see you tomorrow yeah okay Goodbye.